Hey guys, we just moved our Pro 7 machine to our new Mac Studio. And I wanna tell you about some of the issues that we ran into while we were transferring from our 2019 iMac, which was an Intel system, to our new base model Mac Studio for our main Pro Presenter 7 machine. So let's dive into it. Well, for a few years, we've been using our trusty old 2019 iMac. It had tons of RAM, 40 gigs. It was souped up when we bought it. And I was hopeful that moving to the Mac Studio would just solve all of our problems with uh, ProPresenter 7, but spoiler alert, it hasn't, unfortunately. Uh, still working great, loving it. Some of the things that I really like about the Mac Studio is that we were able to add another stage display that we wanted in our booth. And I'll break that down just in a little bit but we're still using our Decklink Duo to send our main feed to our projector, our key and our fill to our ATEM for the live stream, and then also a hallway video announcement feed that's always rolling. But then we're using the USB-C to HDMI adapters from Apple to get our rear projector stage display and our in the booth lighting director stage display. And that stage display for our lighting director is using the operator notes of every song. We like to have all of our lighting cues set so our guy can just push play. And we have that set at different times in our timeline. And so using the operator notes, it's tied to each uh, presentation. And so whenever they go to that first slide of that presentation, it brings it up on the stage display. That way our, our lighting operator is not looking at a paper to click they're, they're actually able to look out of the stage, see the time of the elapsed time and the cues for that song, which has worked really well. Uh, option enter, option return, if you wanna put returns in that operator notes view, by the way. And one tip for you is that you can use any monitor that has a Visa mount on the back of it. I'll link in the description the, the vertical mount that we have for that monitor. It was just an old one we had laying in a closet, but it works great, and then in Mac, you know, display settings, you can actually just rotate that display and it's been perfect. It's so it's 1080 by 1920, you know, uh, but I'll link to that one in the description as well. One immediate problem that we had with the Mac Studio was we didn't have a good display for it. And moving from an iMac to another just plain old monitor was a little lackluster. So we invested in the Asus uh, ProArt 27 inch display and I really like it. It looks great. It is about $350. I'll link to that in the description. But uh, the Mac Studio sits nicely right underneath it. And um, yeah, I mean, that's that's a consideration you'll have to make if you're moving away from an iMac. So I, we've liked that one. But let's say that you're moving Pro 7 to a new machine. What are some of the issues that you're going to encounter? Well, for us, the only other time we've moved Pro to a new machine was when we moved to Pro 7. So I wasn't worried as much about like rebuilding all of our stuff. But now I really want to retain all of the things we've done. If you're using Manage Media automatically in ProPresenter, then, and you've used it since the beginning of you using Pro 7, then it's going to help you out in this instance. For us, we weren't using it. And one of the reasons I wasn't using it is because I was under the impression that it was creating duplicate files and I didn't want to take up double the hard drive space by letting ProPresenter copy files into the ProPresenter folder when they came from the downloads or movies or whatever. It turns out the guys at Renewed Vision said that it's actually not taking up double the space. It's doing something called hard linking. I guess on the Mac ecosystem you can do that as long as it's on the main hard drive and not uh, you know, using external drives and things. So that's something to consider. I was not using the manage media automatically, you know, function of Pro 7. So I opted to try this uh, ProPresenter sync thing that they can do. It supposedly takes all your files and syncs them down. So that way you can go to the new machine and, you know, resync it with that same folder. Unfortunately, this does not actually sync any of your existing media that's within ProPresenter. So all your media files that you've added before you started syncing, they're not going to be there. Uh, it also does not include your macros and your audience looks. So after I did the screens or the, the sync, I went ahead and just copied my config file from my other documents folder over to the other one. And that got my audience looks most of the way done. 
the looks are all there, but then you have to go into each look and reassign the right themes. For some reason, uh, it didn't retain the themes. So that's something you're going to run into when you're transferring to a new computer. Uh, the way I got around the media stuff was I just searched in all of our documents, downloads, movies, all those things by kind, and then I transferred every MP4, MOV, JPEG, and WAV file over to the new machine. Now Pro 7 does have the ability to automatically search for files that are missing. The problem that we had was we wanted to keep all of our files on an external SanDisk SSD like this one, a four terabyte, but the search function only does it at the base level of the external volumes. So all of our files that I transferred over for them to be found have to be on the main root directory of that four terabyte drive, which doesn't make things very clean on that drive to begin with. So I really wish Pro would add the ability to add a custom folder that it should search in those for those file paths. Other things you need to prepare on that machine before you do any of this is any fonts that you're using, make sure you've downloaded those, just copy those over to the new machine, reinstall them on there. And that will go a long ways to make sure those songs are all formatted correctly. Um, don't forget that if you have like companion setup, you'll need to do that beforehand as well. Um, your MIDI setup, maybe if you're using ProPresenter to fire or get MIDI cues from another machine, then you'll need to go ahead and get that set up as well. So those things won't be retained. You'll have to do that. So there is a little bit of work. There's not a super easy way to do this. But we're excited about the Mac Studio. Hopefully it's gonna be a great machine for Pro 7, for video editing, different functions there, for our tech ministry for years to come, right? But here's the, what I've learned. A new machine is probably not going to be your be all and all answer for ProPresenter issues. We've encountered different issues now that we've moved to the Mac Studio. All these are just little bugs that hopefully we can work out along the way, but it was a necessary upgrade. You need to be thinking on a yearly basis, upgrading your machines, having an upgrade path. So like you don't end up like us, where I have four Mac minis that are 2012s just because they kept working. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't have an upgrade path because in your budget, you're gonna run into a year where now you need to upgrade all your machines. And that's just not smart. So learn from me, don't do that. All right, guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.